Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is June the 10th. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. You know how we need that, no doubt about that. Each and every day, kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible. From Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today's no different. Today we are back in the Gospel of Luke. God's promise came true, and Elizabeth and Zechariah had a son. How did Zechariah respond to God's gift? Let's read all about it here in Luke chapter 1. When it was time for Elizabeth's baby to be born, she gave birth to a son. And when her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had been very merciful to her, everyone rejoiced with her. When the baby was eight years old, they all came for the circumcision ceremony. They wanted to name him Zechariah after his father. But Elizabeth said, No, his name is John. What? they exclaimed. There's no one in all your family by that name. So they used gestures to ask the baby's father what he wanted to name him. He motioned for a writing tablet, and to everyone's surprise he wrote, His name is John. Instantly, Zechariah could speak again, and he began praising God. Awe oh, fell upon the whole neighborhood, and the news of what had happened spread throughout the Judean hills. Everyone who heard about it reflected on these events and asked, What will this child turn out to be? For the hand of the Lord was surely upon him in a special way. Then his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and gave this prophecy, Praise the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has visited and redeemed his people. Wonderful. Zechariah thanked God for giving him a son. In fact, the first words out of Zechariah's mouth after his son was born were words of praise. What has God given you? You can thank him for everything, from the food on your plate to the clothes you wear. Like Zechariah, tell God thank you today for what he's given you. Psalm 118.29 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Well, hey guys, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible. And I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing, Lord willing. Lord willing, in the creek don't rise, I plan on being here. Until that time, let's go forward. Let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this that you are loved. No doubt about it. All righty? I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.